Welcome back. I am so in love with this next topic and I think you're going to understand why. I like to reintroduce myself. I'm Rebecca Reynolds, positive psychology based mindfulness and resiliency educator and energy worker. And we're going to talk about the idea of expanding consciousness through many different ways. And this topic, becoming deliberate. Mm. Come on, isn't that just so nourishing? And that is the other part of the topic, nourishment. Because we nourish ourselves in many ways. Sometimes with music, dance, food, touch. Think about it. What is nourishing to you? And how can you expand that in your life so that in essence you're raising your vibrational frequency? You're matching the energy of this water behind us and that sun that is setting slowly in the yellow glow over the water. That's intoxicating. And nourishing yourself can be that intoxicating. At least for me, I want to feel that energy. What would you like to feel? So let's go a little deeper into this. Let's go a little deeper into living on purpose, being intentional. And am I focused on just the everyday blah, blah, blah? Trust me, I understand things have to get done. Yes, we do need to do things. Change the baby diaper, clean the house, take care of ourselves, shower, bathe, and eat. But are we intentional in our processes? Are we living deliberately with consciousness? And what do I mean by consciousness? Do we settle ourselves enough to say, I am going to do this task with awareness? Or are we rushing, rushing, chaotic, kinetic, if you will? Notice the flow of the water behind me. Boy, it sure feels intentional. It sure feels deliberate. It feels like it is matching the energy of what I am hoping to get across to you. So the beginning parts of this are to stop and notice. When I am doing anything, am I deliberate? And is that deliberate action more nourishing because I am focused with intention, in love with what I'm doing, not pushing against, like, why do I have to do this, but in love with it? Can I get myself in love with tasks that are mundane? The washing of the dishes, the bathing of the babies, never mundane. <laughs> All so full of so much magic that if you really take a spotlight on it. Oh my goodness, right? Would you want to miss it? Never. So think about it like that. The intentionality, the deliberate focus on having joy, contentment, ease in everything you're doing instead of that chaoticness that stops you from really loving the things that are necessary for you to do and be a part of. So I invite you to that playground, that in playground of intentionality, of deliberate nourishing your soul. And while we're talking about nourishment, please, let's also talk about food. So where you get your food, that's important. Is it local, if you can? Is it organic, if you're able? Is it free of pesticides, but also is it free of the toxic processes of some of our gatherings of food, whether it be the incarceration of animals or the essence of unclean, safe environments for them. That's all about intentionality. That's nourishment. What am I putting into my body? What am I putting into my mind? What am I bringing into my soul and to the experiences of those around me? So I know we're talking about a lot of topics, so let's review. Number one, am I living with intentionality? Am I living on purpose with a clear view of where I want to go and how I want to experience this life with so much fun and joy and love and laughter and connectedness? 
And will that be a part of my breath? My part of my breath each day of breathing in, I desire to have contentment. I desire to have peace and let that be a ripple around me so that others are intoxicated with my presence. They can feel me when I walk in a room and they're healed by that. Can I slow myself down? Say no to some things, turn off the television, stay present for my children and my family. Am I living deliberately with intentionality? Am I feeding myself the foods that are going to nourish my body and my family's bodies as I'm financially able to do that? Can I grow my own food, even if it's one pot? So just some suggestions on living with intentionality, walking deliberately in this world, becoming a new version of yourself day by day, maybe minute by minute, second by second. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for the world as it expands its view of how to live like we really want to nourish ourselves and nourish our earth. Because isn't this Earth Mother excited when we are coming to it with reverence to her? Let's raise this vibrational frequency together with peace and harmony. I'll see you again soon.